King Carter, King Carter, King Carter, I buy King Carter, King Carter, King Carter, King Carter, King Carter, King King Carter, 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 Conference Finals Game 4, man. We are still in Chicago. Man, if we come out with a win tonight here, guys, we're going to be sweeping the Chicago Bulls as well as earning the Eastern Conference Finals Championship, bro. So, I just want to let you guys know it's time to get lit. It's time to turn up. Is y'all ready? Gang, 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 gang. You know what I'm saying? This commentary today will definitely be one of the best commentaries I've ever dropped. So make sure you drop that like after you hear this greatness. I don't want to hear nothing about, man, this dude said, bruh, like 80 million times. Hey, listen. If I say, bruh, I'm going to give everybody a dollar. I promise. You know what I'm saying? You guys can call me out on this. All right? Every time I say, bruh, is a dollar. But, but, bruh, listen. We not going to start the counter until the tip off. All right, bruh? So if I can say, bruh, whenever I want to, bruh, don't hate. On my brothness. My brothness be lit. But here go the tip off. And let's get lit, bruh. Bruh, 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 bruh. First play of the tip off. Jimmy Butler takes the jump shot at the top of the key. Couldn't hit. Now we're out on a fast break. We're running pretty slow here. But I'm driving baseline against Rondo. And oh my God, the takeoff. Jimmy Butler couldn't save that play right there, man. I felt like I dunked on him. But after the Chicago Bulls hit a three, man, I want to get my teammates in the floor to offense. So I call a nice little pick and roll with my boy Vooch. Kick it over to Ibaka. And Ibaka hits Vooch in the paint with a nice pass that I didn't think he could actually hit. That's pretty dope right there, man. Now, I'm going to just let you guys know something, man. It was a tightly contested game up until this moment. This moment right here is where I got pissed off. Don't know why I didn't help out on the pick and roll. So I want to kind of take over. I want to take my frustration out on the CPU. So what I do is hit Ronda with a nice little crossover. Get to the bucket. And Taj Gibson could not hold me from getting that left hand layup. That's right. I finished with the left too. <laughs> now it's 13 to 10. It's time to get our defense up, man. So I get up on Rondo. Nice and close. Hits me with a nice move. But I say, get that mess out of here, B. What's wrong with you? Not in my house. That's where I draw the line, not in my house. Now, since it's 13-10, anything can happen here. These guys can come out and hit a corner three at any moment. And look at this. Nice pass to the corner. Right to Miritich. And boy, what's wrong with you? Why, why would you even try to attempt a left-hand hook? Now, it's been somewhat of a drought for the last two minutes, guys. But... Like I told you, man, I play defense, and I'm getting so much better at this camera view as I get that still right there. Out on a break, you know what time it is. A little bit of, little bit of flash, not too much flare right there. You hear what I'm saying? Your boy got eight points, though. Now, it's 17-15, to 15, hit Ronda with another crossover. I don't think he wants to guard me. I think we have a small problem, whereas, though, whenever I come against Rondo, he backs up. I think he's afraid as I get that green release from the free throw right there. By the way, if you want to know my free throw, it's definitely MJ, baby. But I think Rondo's seriously scared here. I don't think he wants to guard me. Now, it's the start of the second quarter, and those guys rested me around like the four-minute mark in the first. But they're still guarding me like I have 35 points right now. And that's why Jeff Green hit that three with nobody in front of him. Now, it's 36 to 22. I know what you're thinking. Is this man playing on rookie? What I can tell you is that I'm not playing on rookie, and I'm not playing on any different setting than what comes on Hall of Fame. I guess Chicago is just – never mind. Uh, with that shot right there – Hall of Fame definitely is, is starting to kick in. But one thing that I do notice is that when they put Jimmy Butler on me, man, I get a little more aggressive. I start being an ankle bully out here. I don't know why, but whenever I see a medical symbol on a player, I just start treating them like trash. I'm just saying it's 40 to 28, as you can see. But with that move, that crossover, that moment in time, I wanted to rip my controller in half. But I made up for it by getting the windmill to drop. Ran straight through the defense. This dude, I don't know why Jimmy Butler is on me, but all I can do is praise 2K for putting this guy on me because all I do is run past people. Look at this, man. Step back, you know, double team. Hit my man Justice in the corner. Nah, go ahead. Bring that on back, baby. Go ahead, man. Come on. Uh, double team me again. That's right. Justice for three. Cash money. Now, let's get one thing clear, guys. When Justice Young is hitting, I tend to keep going back to him. Come out of the double team, kick to the corner, Justice Young on the island again, and he gets the three to rattle in from the corner. 
That's what we needed, baby. Now, timeouts are so funny in this game, man. This dude is always talking about, you're my Pippin. You're my Jordan. Finish the game all like they would. But since we're in Chicago, I just wanted you guys to notice the mascot and the length that 2K has gone to make this a part of the game. This is hilarious. What if there was a glitch out where you could actually play with them stilts on? That would be so lit, yo. Comment in the comment section if you guys want to play on stilts in like a mod hack or something, yo. That that would be so insane, dog. But we are in the third quarter now, 67 to 44, and I hit Rondo with another move. He wasn't close enough, but I get the foul here and I don't know what to say guys I was going in for a regular layup and they made me do a hop step animation and then get a foul call why couldn't I make myself do that why did 2k have to tell me to do that move that was insane there but this clip right here man I had to put this in a video dog when you think everything is all green <laughs> aka all good stuff like this happens dog my man comes down and Molly whops my green release. Not only that, my green release stays on the entire trip on the other end, man. It hurt my heart, man. I'm just saying, guys. Now, I try to go in the paint here, try to draw the double team, hit Vooch, and I don't know how Vooch got that to go, and I don't know how that wasn't a foul. Now, it's 76 to 55. I know what you guys are thinking. Why aren't you just hurrying up and subbing out? Because, man, I want to show how much dominance I have on this team fast breaks dude looked at the ball usually if I would have been passing that to a computer they would have easily picked that off but let's talk about how I'm freezing at this point two minutes in the third turn the ball over freezing cold come back down on defense way with the corner three but can't hit rebound by Butler but Butler puts it back up can't get the shot and oh guess what I'm out on a break and I'm cold and I'm pulling up in his face cash Let's talk about how I'm cold. Let's talk about why 2K subs me out mid third, brings me in in the third while we still up by so much. I'm hitting shots, making defensive plays, and I'm still cold. Look at this. A three ball. It takes a three ball for me to get warm. What is going on, 2K? Let's talk about this, man. 95 to 73, man. This team has no chance of coming back. We got a whole quarter left. By the way, they giving up easy cookies like that, man. Jimmy, he's so hurt. You know what? I think Jimmy on Coke. No, you know what? I don't think it's Coke. I think it's perks. I think he on pain pills. You know what I'm saying? This man has been injured this entire series. I think he's on pain pills. By the way, that was a green release again. MJ free throw is clutch. And my free throws is trash. You guys see 68 rating. But we get the rebound. Todd Gibson is sleeping right there. I come out of the double team looking for somebody to pass it to. I pass the Biombo. Don't know why I did that. Call for it back. Waited a little bit. You know, we got nine seconds on the clock. So I call for a screen. Try to get around that. I see Biombo cutting. And Biombo is just so trash that he can't even hang on to my passes, fam. Like, why do I even have pick and roll maestro if somebody can't even hold on to the passes? But a nice pass over to Rondo. Rondo passes to the corner to Miritich. And yeah, that happened. Meritage has 21 points in three quarters. 2K really trying to cheese me, but they really can't keep up with me. So I'm going to go ahead and use this move right here. And it's called get to the bucket. That's what it's called. My, my moves are really easy. Like get to the bucket is like my go-to move. Like, <laughs> But let's talk about how it's 101 to 84. Jimmy Butler hits the free throw. And I got some in store for you guys. Look how Jimmy Butler is guarding me at the half court. Why are you playing half court defense and getting windmilled on all in the same play? You too injured to keep up with the guard. I'm just, I'm just putting that out there, bro. Look at this, man. Fouling me. Jimmy Butler fouls out of the game, guys. 17 points. Don't know who he scored that 17 on. It wasn't me. It darn sure wasn't me. But I got something to let you guys in on, dog. Did you guys know? that I was playing with five fouls for like a quarter. I think I think I might have been playing with five fouls. And this play right here is when it dawned on me I might be the dumbest player in 2K, fam. No, I did not foul out on my own. No, I wasn't trying to foul out. Like, usually people try to grab and hold and, you know, hit the button. I was just going for the steal. I didn't believe in Rondo's handles. But with the end of the game, we become the Eastern Conference Finals champions, guys. 
I want to thank you guys for watching this video, man. Look at the crowd cheering for the opposing team. That that makes no sense. Like for a moment they were cheering and then they got instantly sad. Like look at the little Magic fans, like the little sprinkles of, of Magic fans around the arena. Like did they like cheer and boo for like that one moment and then like everybody that was a Magic fan just stood up like, oh oh we won. Yes, let's do it, guys. Yeah. <laughs> But like I was saying guys I want to thank you for watching this video like I said if you enjoyed man go ahead throw that thumb man show your boys some support also we do have the NBA finals coming up I will give you guys that matchup via Twitter so make sure you follow me there at iPod King Carter as well as make sure that you guys leave a comment on how you want me to provide these videos do you guys want me to live stream the NBA finals do you want me to make face cams with you know live reaction in game uh, would you guys like me to do like a live commentary while recording or would you guys like me to just record the gameplay and do commentaries like this please let me know i think commentaries like this are somewhat more funny because it gives me time to think about what i want to say as well as i'm kind of reacting to the gameplay after it happens so it's kind of like seeing it all again for the first time a little bit but we are the conference champions let's get it